Hello everybody, and a very warm welcome to LMT YouTube channel. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are cutting off four major UK tabloids, say in a letter sent Sunday night to the editors of The Mail, The Sun, The Express, and The Mirror. Harry and Meghan officially stepped back as working members of the royal family on April 1st. The Sussexes have cited the intense and unfair, they said, tabloid media scrutiny as one of the reasons for this decision. The following is an interview with Prince Harry on a recent day. I'm, I'm honoured to be a veteran. I'm honoured to be part of that community. I'm honoured, I'm just so incredibly proud to see what these individuals you know, up and down the country uh, and across the world are doing on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, I think what, what, what has happened, especially in the UK, is, I mean, it's, it's, it's the very best of the human spirit. You know, things are, it's also proving that I think things are better than, we, than, we, than we're led to believe through, you know, certain corners of the media. You know, again, uh, you know, Rich was touching on the isolation piece. It can be very, very worrying when you're sitting there and the only sort of information you're getting is from certain uh, news channels. But then if, you, if you're out and about uh, or you're on the right platforms, you can really sense this, this human spirit coming to the forefront. And I think the most important thing for me is that the veterans, the veteran, veteran community will always volunteer. I think you know, coming together now with a group of people, like-minded people, I think is the perfect time to do that. Um, and I think, I don't know, I just, it really just, it, as I said, it just makes me incredibly proud um, to see the Brits stepping up like this. But I really, really hope that this keeps going after coronavirus uh, and after this whole pandemic has come to a close, because once you've signed up, there's still going to be opportunities uh, once this is all over. Mm. So, you know, let's let's keep that going. And again, the, the youth engagement has been exceptional, uh, specifically in the, in, in the UK. You know, young people volunteering to help out the elderly, to help out their neighbours, to help out their community. That's what this is all about. Another report. Here's our first look at Meghan and Harry's new life in Los Angeles. After officially stepping down from their royal family duties on March 31, 2020, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are settling into their new life in Los Angeles. The couple moved from Vancouver Island, Canada with their son Archie to a rented compound in the City of Angels in mid-March, where they're self-isolating due to the coronavirus. But like a breath of fresh air in mid-April, the couple was spotted out and about doing what they do best, diving into the philanthropic work they promised would be the cornerstone of their new chapter. After announcing their resignation from the royal family back in January 2020, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex first spoke out about wanting to help their community deal with the effects of COVID-19 in an Instagram message, asking others to do the same. The couple shared on their Instagram page, These are uncertain times. And now, more than ever, we need each other. We need each other for truth, for support, and to feel less alone during a time that can honestly feel quite scary. And they're making good on their call, to action these days now, that they've landed in the U.S. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry wanted to keep their charity work private. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle wanted to keep their Los Angeles-based charity work private, but that didn't stop Paps from catching them dressed down in face masks and gloves, heading to lend a hand at Project Angel Food, a non-profit that prepares and delivers meals to people with critical illnesses who are at greater risk during the coronavirus pandemic. The couple did two deliveries for the organization, one on Easter Sunday 2020, and one on April 15, 2020, according to what Richard Aalb, the organization's director, told people. So our friend Richard Ayub is the director of Project Angel Food, serving meals to vulnerable people who can't get out of their homes. They've been doing it for 30 years. And Richard, you have a, a feel good about uh, Prince Harry and Meghan. So what happened? Oh, my God. So on Easter Sunday, the Duke and Duchess wanted to be of service. And they wanted to see some of Project Angel Food's clients. So they came in to Project Angel Food. I gave them a tour of the kitchen. 
And one of the very first questions I asked is, how should I refer to you? As Duke and Duchess? And their quick response was, no, Harry and Meghan. And so they were really impressed with the chefs and the work that we do. They were very inquisitive and compassionate, and they wanted to know more. And then they took meals and they delivered them to our clients in Burbank and Glendale. And then they loved the experience so much that they asked if they could come back. And yesterday they delivered meals to clients in West Hollywood. So they've been doing this quietly and they've delivered to 20 different clients throughout LA County. And they're just, they told me they were overwhelmed with the gratitude they got from the clients. And they wanted to give our drivers a break because most of our drivers delivered 50 to 60, make 50 to 60 deliveries a day. And so they wanted to kind of lighten the load for them. And they're really concerned about the vulnerable community that we serve. And we're very honored that of all the charities they could pick, they picked Project Angel Food. Congrats. And that is beautiful. It's so great to have them here in town and then to reach out like that and then serve like that. I love them even more. They're incredible. And you know how they found out about us? Well, wow. Megan obviously used to live in L.A., And she was looking for something to do for them on Easter. And her mother said, Project Angel Food needs help. One client, Dan Tyrell, barely even recognized the Duke and Duchess, given how normal they looked when they delivered meals to him in West Hollywood. Tyrell said, I thought that tall red-headed guy looked pretty familiar, and that girl was very pretty. Then I saw the large black SUVs with the security guards behind them. They were both nice and very down, two earth people. They had masks on, and they were dressed down with jeans, but very nice jeans. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are also making Zoom calls. Just like everyone else in the world who's social distancing due to coronavirus, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are keeping up with their personal and professional engagements by making Zoom calls. Prince Harry called into a call with UK charity Well Child in Mid, April 2020 to advocate for families with seriously ill children, noting that he and Meghan have been focusing on enjoying the family time, even if it can sometimes be a roller coaster of emotions. Harry said per The Guardian, You've got to celebrate those moments where you are just on the floor rolling around in hysterics. Inevitably, half an hour later, maybe a day later, there's going to be something that you have to deal with, and there's no way you can run away from it. Wearing a white t-shirt and jeans with her hair slicked back, Megan Zoom, add in with the all-female staff of the Hub Community Kitchen, which in conjunction with the Felix Project, will be delivering 200 to 300 free meals a week to vulnerable families affected by the pandemic. Proving once again that she's just like us, Megan noted on the call, part of which can be seen on Twitter, that food means everything these days. She said, A home, cooked meal from one neighbor to another, when they need it most, is what community is all about. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are officially Angelenos. It's no surprise that Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are handling social distancing so well. They certainly are doing it in a prime location. The couple is currently renting a paparazzi-proof compound in Los Angeles. A source told. Their current rental is upwards of $10 million a month and includes a pool, gardens, and a gym as well as being accessible from two entry points. The home is reportedly close to Elton John's mansion in the area. For now though, the couple seems content out of the public eye in their rental home as they embark on the first leg of life without the royal family. Between their charity work, dodging paparazzi and hounds, hunting, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle seem to be adapting well to the Los Angeles celebrity lifestyle, even if there's an occasional challenge along the way. 
So there you have it, that's all the news on Meghan and Prince Harry situation today. As always, thanks for listening. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and press that notification bell. If you want to be notified of future videos. Thank you. Don't stop.